I'm not really one for confrontation, okay? I'm not the guy that starts the drama, okay? But what Crypto Wendy has done is despicable. It's despicable, okay? First, we had Dr. Disrespect. Then we had Mr. Beast. And now, this. It's disgusting. What is that on the pepperoni? Why pineapples? And I'm not even going to talk about this. It's disgusting, okay? Let's dive into the market. Apologies, Wendy, but you have to be stopped. That's disgusting. All right, let's jump into the news right now. We can see that, uh, yeah, obviously the elections are heavily linked with Bitcoin, but Bitcoin options are suggesting that and kind of proving that with the data. So what we will say with this is, uh, yes, four days after the election is going to be extremely volatile. All right. So November 4th is the election. All right. Four days after that uh, is the options settlement. All right. And that is going to be very, very volatile Bitcoin times. Obviously, they're going to be trying to manipulate the markets to make as much money from all of these contracts right so uh yes expect massive volatility around that time that's pretty much it for the news everything else is trash piss and fucking street trash if we are looking at the general market overview here we can see htx absolutely banging it here uh, the rest of the market on a bit of a pullback here we did dump last night of course but uh yeah overall pretty much a mixed bag across the board fear and greed index we can see here at 26 beautiful stuff um yeah just the same as it's been for the past two weeks, I guess. If we are looking at the ETFs, we can see that uh, flows in USD. Here we go. Beautiful stuff. We can see that it's 88 million yesterday. Fantastic. And the day before that, we can see 62 million. Obviously, these two weren't updated yesterday. But uh, yeah, fantastic stuff. One thing I will say is GPTC is uh is still is still uh they're still pulling out. They're still pulling out. All right, not not great. You leave it in. Leave it in, mates. All right. Wait, what? Like iBit's doing. Fantastic stuff. Arc B, banging it, okay. Bit B, mm, not so great. But everything else, yes, on the zeros, 88 million in total. Actually pretty bullish uh, in terms of a turnaround for Bitcoin from institutions. Clickbait. Something designed to make readers want to click on a hyperlink, especially when the link leads to content of dubious value or interest. Doesn't sound like me. If we are looking at the energy value for Bitcoin, we can see that right here, right now, uh, that line is at 80K. When we get over that line, you guys know what happens here, okay? You know what happens. Actually, I'm not even going to tell you. I'm not even going to just write it in the comments. Let everyone else know. All right. If we're looking at the historical annualized electricity consumption, which is just how much money people are spending on mining Bitcoin. Your rapping career didn't turn out <laughs> <laughs> the way you hoped it would, I think. In terms of electricity, we can see that, yeah, that is still on a downtrend. Pretty bearish, but maybe they're just getting cheaper electricity. Who knows here? Uh, but typically correlated with Bitcoin. And uh, yes, uh, when it goes down, Bitcoin goes down, right? So if this can curl up, fantastically bullish. If it doesn't, very, very bad. Bad. It's heat map time, baby. Let's have a look. We can see that, uh, yes, uh, we do have pretty thick walls. Damn, boy, he thick. We are just playing between these ranges. This is clearly set up by a market maker, right, as you can see there. So layering in orders. Whichever one of these breaks first is really the direction we go, in my opinion, here. So watch out for that. If we break over 60,500 today, it's a, it's a high chance we bang it, okay? If we break below 58.4 today, very bad for Bitcoin. And uh, yes, massive, massive liquidations to both sides here that can be destroyed, okay, by these market makers. So uh, let's just watch out for this one because there might be a beautiful short. And then after that, a fantastic bounce in terms of scalp land anyway. Also, Patreon update was just put out, so feel free to check that out. It's completely free. You just press follow. You just press follow, all right? That's it. Just press follow, mate. Next up, we're going to talk about the long-term, mid-term, and short-term for Bitcoin, as well as all of the trades I'm looking for on all of those time frames. Hopefully that made sense. I'm basically a rapper at this point. Yeah, I got an album. Dude, no. I'm in it. But I'm not a rapper. No. Okay, all right, let's jump into this. Be sure to check out Prime XBT in the description as well, because they give you $100 for free. All right, let's jump into the charts right here, right now. You can see here the general daily. The general daily coming through is looking exactly the same as it's looked for the past two weeks. Why? 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 
what we can say here is that, uh, yes, we do still have trades to both sides. I'm just going to highlight these one more time, all right, and then probably again tomorrow <laughs> if, if we're still going sideways. Uh, we will say that if we do get over this 63k region, okay, this bad boy here will be looking for a beautiful long, a beautiful long all the way up to about 66.6. This will be fantastic. Obviously, this target comes down with the trend line. So, uh, yes, I mean, we do have a lot of time uh, before this becomes a, a, a bad trade, a negligible trade. Okay, I'm not sure if that's the right word, but we can say that, uh, yeah, hopefully we get we get a bounce here today. Um, big, big wick yesterday. Typically, when you do see a wick like this, you, you tend to absorb that wick towards the other side, okay? Evidence piece number one. Boom. Okay. Um, this one actually didn't work, but we had this one here, and it did work. So, uh, yeah, typically... Yes, you can expect that to happen quite a lot here, all right? It's just supply and demand, right? When the buyers step in, they push it up, okay? And then the sellers have to kind of get involved, push it back down, and that typically creates that wicking scenario like we're seeing here, okay? So typically, we should be expecting uh, to come down here today to around 57.7, all right? Um... I am going to be looking for somewhat of a daily close down here, um, or maybe even like a 12 hour, 6 hour close before initiating this short, but the short here is generally uh, between yeah, 57.8 all the way down to the bottom side of this range, which will be at 53.7, okay? So keep an eye on that. Those are the two big, big trades we're looking for in the foreseeable future. In terms of super long term here, guys, uh, we are looking for that 71k break. If we break 71k here, uh, we look for a trade up to the all-time high, okay? And then if it runs, we look for a trade up to about 78 to 80k, this kind of zone, all right? Um, towards the downside, if we do want to crash, again, we are non-biased on the channel. We can trade both ways here. You can long and short. You don't have to be one-sided all the time, all right? Uh, so what we can say here is, yeah, if we do lose 49k, we'll be looking for a dump down to 45, 45.7. I just completely lost my trail, but I found it again. It's good. It's good. 49 to 45.7. Uh, and that's where this beautiful trend line is. Uh, and if you don't know what this trend line is and the significance of it, let me just show you. And here we go. Every single bull run we've had, we've had a beautiful trend line coming through here. Okay. Look at it. Look at this thing in the last run. Fantastic. But when we break it, very bad bear market time okay uh, if we do go to this one right this is the 14k run mid bear market when we broke down from this what do you know what do you know we entered an extended bear market okay the 20k run exactly the same thing okay boom 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 we hit this trend line we bounce on it every single time and then boom i would say in terms of influx of money uh, in terms of which run is is more correlative to this one i would probably say the 20k run Okay, uh, we, we got super aggressive away from the trend line. We came back with massive crashes. Okay, and then we bounce on that trend line every time. Okay, if we're looking at this one here. I would expect this because it's a lot more money. Okay, it's a, it's a lot uh, different in terms of uh, institutions compared to retail, this kind of stuff, right? Uh, so this is going to be a much longer period of time to reach this all-time high, in my opinion, okay? It takes time to, to approve these investments for these institutions. It can take months. It can take years in some case, right? Uh, so for the big money to come in, we have to give it a bit more time here. Let me just uh, get rid of this for real, real quick. Uh, so yes, uh, we have had massive pullbacks. Uh, the line is currently around 44 45k okay and then after that we look to essentially bang it up and if we break that 80k level as you guys know we're banging it from there okay we'll be treading along the line even more up to the 200s three hundred thousand dollar bitcoin that's my long-term outlook if we do get a black swan event though if, if the japanese do end up destroying us it's not the japanese's fault it's actually the us's fault but <laughs> if if we do get destroyed here then uh yes we uh we should be expecting 30k and 30k comes in from uh the linear regressional logarithmic growth curve here if you don't know what that means it's the rainbow the rainbow chart all right uh, and this bottom line the rainbow chart it is super important okay and that is where we usually bottom out for bitcoin so if we do get a major crash 
I'm buying at 30k. Okay, I'm adding to that DCA, and I'm going to be adding a hell of a lot, all right? And then my average entry will probably be 60, 62k now. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I was just kidding. I'm only like 10% exposed, as I said, right? Uh, so, uh, yeah, my average entry, probably, hopefully, the high 30s from there. That's the dream scenario for me, okay? Uh, I don't think Bitcoin goes to zero, any of this stuff. It's a business, okay? People make money from businesses. They need to keep it alive, all right? And this is a business that's grown into the foundations of the US economy, okay? Uh, most of all, Street are in on this, okay? So, yes, uh, I don't think Bitcoin fails. I really don't, okay? Let's move on to the midterm. Just look at all these subscribers. You could be one of these people. Think about the prowess. Think about the premium ability you will gain from just clicking that red button. Please, I need this. I would love more subscribers. Just please help me out, man. <laughs> Definitely subscribe, guys. Okay, midterm. Here, we can see. We can see that we are still looking for this trade, okay? It's not happened yet. It's not happened yet. But if we can get over the 60-minute volume weighted ATR band, let me just show you. Boom. Okay. Average true range weighted by volume. Just plots out the range for Bitcoin pretty nicely, okay? And what we will say is when we get above those and we get outside those ranges, uh, it's a good indication that we are running, okay? We are banging it to the moon, all right? Well, at least to 63.8. Okay, so this is the trade I'm looking for here uh, on the medium term, uh, which is on the four hour okay we need to get over this trap zone here okay so this is a parallel trap zone with one wick hitting it so far uh, and that is parallel to the candle body trend line of this triangle okay so uh, yes if we can get above this trap zone 62 2 banging it up for two and a half percent to 63 eight okay if we do end up crashing today guys uh, i'll be looking for this low to be lost at 57 8 okay uh, and uh, oh actually no that was that was wrong uh, we we're looking for this low to be lost at 57 5 uh, and then bang that down okay uh, to the 60 minute volume weighted atr band wherever it it shall be okay it is curling up a little bit right now uh, so if it does go up over the foreseeable future uh, this trade is only valid if it's a one percent trade if it's anything less don't bother with it don't bother with it unless you are on vip3 on uh, some of these exchanges where you do get discounted fees right but um without further ado let's move on to the degen zone thank you my man Excellent. Yeah, absolutely you, sounds good man fucking degenerate Okay, you degenerates, you degenerates out here. This is what we're looking for, okay? It's a very risky trade, okay? It's a risky biscuit coming through, but we are inside a very small range here. Uh, again, this is more for VIP3, people that are advanced traders. If you are if you are someone that's newer to trading, you're looking for that quick buck, don't do this, okay? I told you too many times now, stop it. You're losing all your money, all right? Just focus on the long term. <laughs> uh, we can see here that, uh, yes, we are looking for basically a break of 60K upwards, okay? Um Technically, we could get in this at 59.8. The reason why this is so risky, though, is uh, because 60K being a big round number, okay? We have been oscillating around it, so that does merit enough of a justification that we could come up here at a 60,300. But just be very careful with this one, guys. This is this is not the time to be trying to take trades like this. I'm just doing this because it's a section of the video, okay? Uh, I may take this trade though, I may, I may, depending on how it looks. I mean, we're, we're looking like we're smashing through moving averages right now. Uh, typically, I will say when we do smash through moving averages like this, um, it's it's usually a trap unless we retest them along the way, okay? If we, if we test them along the way, fantastic stuff. Uh, but the reason why we could come up here with without testing them is because we just did the, the same thing here, right? So this run up, for example, guys, this run up, uh, we can see that we did grind through all the moving averages then we got above all of them. We broke the high, we banged it, okay? Uh, this one, however, we did not. We just smashed through them all. We smashed through them all. Uh, and now it's time to kind of come back up and retest this area, okay? Uh, so yes, a little bit more bullish here on the short term, but um, yes, I mean, anything can happen here. This is the one hour, all right? This is the one hour. If you are a super adventurous, audacious, admirable fellow, then uh, yes, we would be expecting 58.4 down uh, to... Uh, hmm, I really don't like this trade. I don't like this trade, but I'm going to say it anyway, okay? If it's 1% here... 58.4 down uh, to 57.8. Again, only advanced traders. Okay, if you can trade the five minute, 50 minute, the one hour, then this is you. Okay, if you think you can trade it, but you just keep losing money, stick to the four hour plus. Please 
save yourself some money, okay? Save yourself some time. <laughs> okay, uh, so that is going to be it from me, guys. Have a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one. If you haven't subscribed, please, just please do it. Please, I need help to grow this channel, man. Okay, if you could like the video, leave a comment with the giveaway code as well. You'll be entered into the monthly giveaway. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Goodbye. From me, Hamilton. And again, sorry, Wendy. Sorry, I just needed the clicks. All right, my bad.